She has lost two of what she calls her most precious jewels. But somehow, Deborah Pally still has strength and her faith. These children were given to us as gifts, treasures to cherish, she tells reporters, as she clutches photos of five-year-old Yaakov and eight-year-old Asher. Plowed down on Friday at a bus stop just around the corner, in what Israeli authorities say was a terror attack carried out by a Palestinian driver. Pally says she reached the scene to see paramedics administering CPR on one of her sons. We understood we were getting close to the place of death, she says. Her two boys buried side by side in Jerusalem, which has become the flashpoint in the current wave of violence sweeping the area. But this grieving mother, who believes her sons were killed for being Jewish, calling for peace and prayer. Don't look for someone to blame. Don't look for revenge, she implores. We are in a place that there is a message from God. They have taken our sweet boys, the innocent. It's so that we will be stronger. Pally says she doesn't need to worry about her children anymore, now in heaven. Asking for prayers for her husband, injured in the attack, still hospitalized, under sedation. Six other children at home. She calls for these sacrifices taken from the people of Israel should not be sacrificed in vain. Take the sacrifice, she says. This sacrifice will bring God's redemption. Hadas Gold, CNN, Jerusalem.